Grace and peace to you this day as we journey in together in our Lenten devotion series, Lent in Plain Sight. This week we're talking shoes, reading about shoes, thinking about shoes, reflecting on shoes. Today we talk about putting on your belt and your shoes, being ready for the journey. The passage reflecting on today comes to us from Acts chapter 12, verses 6 through 11. It's the story of Peter's arrest, his time in prison, and then his escaping prison with the help of an angel. Specifically in verse 8 of chapter 12 of Acts, it says, And the angel said to Peter, Gird yourself and put on your sandals. And Peter did so. And he said to him, and the angel said to him, Wrap your cloak around you and follow me. We put on our shoes and our belts and our cloaks, and we follow the way of the Lord. In Peter's case, it was the chains fell off from the guards he was shackled to, the iron gate of the prison opened wide, and he walked out into the city, and the angel departed from him. He knew the Lord protected him and was with him. And so he hurried off to back to the disciples to meet them. Jill Dunfill in our book, Lent in Plain Sight, tells of this story. She said, God makes a way. We know that, don't we? The bottom line of this blockbuster story here of Peter's escape is the fact that God makes a way for the ministry we are called to do on God's behalf and at God's behest. Peter, remember, he was bound with two chains, was sleeping between two soldiers while guards in front of the door were keeping watch over the prison. He was slated to be executed the next day. Nevertheless, he escapes from prison with the miraculous help of the angel. Even Peter thinks it's, this reprieve is unbelievable, only a vision, perhaps, until he finds himself shoes on, belt on, cloak on, solidly standing outside those prison gates. God makes a way even when it seems that all facet points have come to an end, that the impossibility of escape, the inevitability of failure, angels in countless guises appear to us to tell us to get up, to get dressed, to put our clothes on, to put our feet in our shoes, and to get ready to be freed from whatever holds us back. Now see, the challenge for us or at least one of them remains in trusting God's promise that there will be a way made for us while we are chained to our current circumstances and imprisoned by the forces not under our control. Be those forces illness, economic hardships, broken relationships, job loss, fires, floods, earthquakes, pandemics, addiction. The list goes on and on. Being human means we are vulnerable. How often do we imagine God making a way for us? Considering Peter's story helps us, though. How much more dire could his future have been in that prison cell? But recalling the events of our own lives bolsters our hope in the middle of these confusing and confounding times even more. Has God not made a way for you when you thought you know, all was at an end? As a wise friend once said, she says, God keeps God's promises, but always in surprising ways. God keeps God's promises, but always in surprising ways. Work done to bring ministry that offers emergency shelter to families experiencing homelessness reminds Jill of that truth. It says when she's feeling trapped and afraid, doubtful and hopeless, the effort started with three people that grew to a dozen or so as they recruited um, host up to 13 host congregations now. Out of a seemingly nowhere came the required day center Bringing our heads and lifting our prayers, a bus donation came through. Just when money was needed, just enough appeared. 
over and over again, she says. When our faith want, waned and we could not see a way, God made a way. Now 32 congregation host families. When one space for a day sinners fell through, another space became available, she says. As one of the people who worked on this from the very beginning said, this building literally falls out of the sky into our laps. Sounds like manna. It has everything we need and will provide room to grow and perhaps even to expand or consolidate our mission as needed. I should have trusted the Lord, he said. I can't count the number of times with this specific ministry that something like this has happened. God makes a way. So put your belt on, your shoes on, grab your cloak, and let's journey with God. Brothers and sisters, we are too are in that same season, charting out on our own as a station church, seeking to grow a ministry and mercy center in the community with Moncure. We continue to lift up our prayers. Have you put your shoes on? Have you grabbed your cloak? Are you ready to grow with us? To go where God leads us? because God will make a way. And most often, it's a surprising way. Glory be to God. God's promises are always fulfilled. So I've got some questions for you today. When has God made a way for you when you thought there was no other way? Please share it. Those stories of God making a way help us hold on to hope that we know God will make a way, but it's always good to hear of times when God has made a way. Are you engaged in a specific ministry right now beyond what we are doing? What are the challenges that you're facing? Or how about what are the challenges we're facing with our Mercy Center and our Mon Cure ministry? Do you know of them? How have we seen God working through them? Has it been surprising? Has it been affirming? What's the next thing on the bucket list? Because we know God will make a way. Though it may be surprising and not the way we thought, God will make a way. So put on your shoes and be ready for the journey. Let us pray. God, you make a way for the work you call us to do in your name. When we falter and are afraid, bolster our confidence, comfort us in our anxiety, send messengers, send stories of a way, send angels and unexpected provisions. Even when we are unsure and doubting, help us to be like Peter, ready to put on our belt and our shoes so that we can follow your angel's instructions and be free to fulfill your purpose for us in your kingdom. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, go in peace this day. Shoes on, cloak around our waist, ready to go. Amen. <laughs>